Hey, what's up? I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. This is another rideshare nugget. A little thought, idea, commentary, conversation around rideshare driving. I've been a rideshare driver since February 2nd, 2017. Somewhere between 12,000 and 13,000 rides. A lot of rides. Anyways, today we're going to talk about tipping. Some of you, some of you been wanting to know more about tipping from my perspective and I something I talk about a lot on my full show called my rideshare experience I always have an interest in what I did in my tips and how it works out so this video is about who are the best and who are the worst tippers so f f as far as I know I haven't figured out at all how who is going to tip or not tip but there are some gen little general vibe type things that I've been able to kind of guess a little bit on who might tip and definitely who's not going to tip. It's a, it's easier to figure out who's not going to tip than it is who's going to tip. But the better tippers, um, I think, are out-of-towners. Travelers tend to tip better than not. Um, that's a big tipper spot. Somebody that's... I feel like I had somebody else. There's somebody else who else tips um, pretty regular. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. People tend to think like service industry people tip better. But in my car, you know, we have a conversation. Me and the passenger find out there uh, in San Diego, there's a lot of bartenders, a lot of people that work in the service industry um, because it's a big, that's kind of what the town's built on is service industry stuff. That And I'd say about 50% of the time they tip. So it's pretty, it's a pretty low average. You, you kind of assume they get it. But they're just looking for a cheap way to get from one place to another, just like everybody else. So that's that's one thing. Um, I'm trying to think who tips better or more likely to tip. I can't think. I feel like I had somebody else along with the traveler types. But I know guaranteed to not tip pretty much. College students that are kind of during the day getting to class and stuff. Commuters going to, going to work. People that you know pick up in the morning tends morning tends to be worse on tips than afternoon. Oh, here's the other. Well, the other part of the the tip the people that are more likely to tip falls under the traveler types because it's um, people that tend to take long rides out of the airport. Like in San Diego, um, there's an area called like Carlsbad and Oceanside and you know Riverside. I guess is another place. Other. Up north, there's a bunch of places that are like 40 minutes to an hour outside of, out of the airport. And more often than not, when I get one of those rides, I actually get a tip. And it's actually a decent tip. It's like in the $10 range, 5 to $10 range of tips. Which, you know, locally, the shorter the ride is, the less likely I feel like I'm going to get a tip. Which is a bummer because the short rides are where you need the tips more. Um... To make it sustainable because we don't make enough off short rides long rides are where you make your actual money when you're doing the job but a couple guaranteed not gonna tips as well well other than the I said college students already like going to class and things like that is there's um, a lot of car dealerships are starting to use the service as a way to lift an uber to instead of shuttles when people bring their car in for service they use lift and uber and I can tell with Lyft anyway that, well, once I see the destination as well, but the name's always in capitals, all capitals, and it's like, okay, no tip. I know I'm not going to get a tip on this ride. Um, so, yeah. So, those are some of the, the my experiences with people that tip versus people that don't tip. I have not been able to figure out the magic, the science, the mystery of how to get people to tip more often or who will or won't guaranteed like it's pretty it's pretty un unpredictable to be honest the general vibe is very unpredictable to, to understand who will and won't tip anyways hopefully you enjoyed that one check out my full show like i mentioned it's called my red share experience right here on this show this channel it's usually third 20 to 30 minutes long i talk about how much i made i talk about some questions from you whenever you post a comment or question or idea in the uh comments here on these these shows or that show um, I pick a couple and talk about them in depth and at length and then also um, I do something that came up in the last week of rideshare driving I talk about some experience I had rideshare driving hence the name my rideshare experience 
All right, hope you're doing well. Hope your rides are long, your tips are big. And until next time, be excellent to each other. Peace.